All right. Um, yeah, this was a xenophobic uh, request, an email request. Jeff Rotol, unboxing of the broadsword and the beast. When I see this, it just made me laugh because from the little I know of them, I think we've only done like three, four tracks from them, but the broadsword and the beast just is, is so them. Even from the little I know, I know it's so them. But yeah, Jeff Rotol, unboxing the broadsword. Unboxing of the broadsword and the beast, sorry. But yeah, let's go. Hi, this is Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull here. Sitting oh, it's him. Sitting in front of me uh, is the long-awaited and finally here to be released on the 1st of September, The Broadsword, the monster edition. Probably the biggest ever collection of Jethro Tull music on one uh, one pile of stuff, which is... Is, is consisting of many things that no one ever heard before, including me since 1981 or 1982, um, because this probably is the, is the biggest collection ever to be a, a, a released and with this combination of Blu-ray and goodness knows what other things and surround sounds and whatever. So let's get to it and open this thing up and see what we've got in here to um, titillate, captivate and um, generally um, persuade you to um, empty your wallets and we also have the, <laughs> the, uh, the version which is the multi uh, the multi vinyl version goodness me yes which should be pretty impressive we'll get to that in a second first of all we have in the um can I have to say he opened both of them very well when I try and open them things it's an ordeal I hate them things, but you just open them like they're nothing. In the big booklet form, we have the uh, the big chunky box that contains a 164-page booklet with all the information about the recording of the album and what all these additional tracks and re-recordings and remixes and so on are all about. On disc one, we've got the Broadsword and the Beast, the Stephen Wilson stereo remix. Uh, we've got the... Um, the Stephen Wilson a stereo remix of some associated recordings, which are various other versions of the uh, of the songs that were done on different takes uh, in the studio. We've got um, discs four and five, which are live performances recorded in Germany in 1982. Stephen Wilson's stereo remix of of the uh, of the live show, containing a lot of the the broadsword material, but also a lot of other classic Jethro Tull music too. On disc two. The associated recordings from early 81, there's all these other things which, uh, some of which have slipped out into various compilation and catch-up albums over the years, but here they are all together from the, from the rehearsals and recordings in 81, prior to the 82 recording of the Masters of Broadsword. Um, and uh, we have all of those as stereo remixes from Stephen Wilson. On disc three, the demo recordings, because we made demos uh, of all of this stuff, probably in my my own studio at home before we went off to to Maison Rouge to record them in in London. But the demos are surprisingly of good quality. I mean, they're more than just demos; they sound like studio masters, really. And the original 1981 master mixes, um, which uh, which are of the um, the the original recording uh, as it was released. So. Early rough mixes from 82 and from 81, and then uh, all this other stuff to go with too. The DVD uh, has got, the, has got the, the super high quality 9624 versions of the surround sound, the DV2. DVD2 has got the, <laughs> um, also all the surround sound stuff, and DVD3 with uh, the live in Germany. Uh, musical remix to super high quality in um, in surround and in stereo so it's a big big book of all sorts of stuff what I particularly like really is the um, is the, is the sensational booklet I mean it, this is like this is uh, like reading a Stephen King novel I mean it's gonna you better set aside a weekend to do all of that and then for those who are nerd like and need to you know give their old turntables a good uh, a good seeing too. We have the um, the um, the broadsword and the beast vinyls, which again comes with a, a an explanatory and large size booklet, which tells you all about that stuff. 
and the original album um, here, which is uh, which is um, the vinyl record of the, I guess they are the original master recordings. And, um, and we also have this one with some new artwork from Ian McKay, who's the guy who did the, uh, did the original design. He did this one as a special uh, one for the double-edged sword edition, which has got some various recordings from the Broadsword and Beast sessions, including uh, a couple of things. Uh, the R. Martin Barr's contribution with some original music that he wrote along with uh, various other bits and pieces of, uh, of material. Um, some of the unreleased, as they were then, unreleased tracks are on this uh, double-edged double sword edition of, of, the, uh, of the album. And then we have this one, which is kind of a neat cover. This is the Jethro Tull Broadsword and the Beast, the Maison Rouge demos, the ones that we, uh, that we made in the, in the studio too, as well as the rehearsal rooms. So, so you've got here one, two, three, uh, three different vinyls, the booklet in a nice big shiny box, which I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get it back together again. But uh, there you go. We've been waiting for this for a long time from Warner Music due to some hiccups with getting the manufacturing done and the pressing of the vinyl. But finally, it is all here. And um, I hope you love this as much as I remember that I loved writing, rehearsing and recording this material back in 1981 and 1982, all those many years ago. So enjoy, if this is your cup of tea, um, and it certainly is mine, the new Jethro Tull Broadsword Collection, the Monster Editions. <laughs> yeah. Does he still do music then? Or is it like he's, he's done with it? So I think that happens to quite a few uh, musicians once they get older. Uh, yeah, they kind of. But I wonder if he is still writing and performing, just not with Jeff Rotol. Or maybe they are. I don't know. But yeah. He seems like very quiet. That was a very honest advert too. If you want one of these. Like it. Official kind of thing, right? <laughs> it it was in the hardest sell. It's kind of soft sell approach, which I kind of like. But yeah, yeah. I suppose eventually we will get round to doing that album. Um. But yeah, let me know if you did buy that. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.